Boy, what a nice day it is today. Sun's coming down nice and strong. Perfect day for taking pictures. Beautiful day out here, in fact. It's about 5,500 degrees out here. Indoors, of course, we've got the air conditioner going. That's yeah, about 2,800 degrees in here. And believe it or not, I can lower the temperature even more by turning off this lamp and by lighting up this candle. Temperature now has been lowered to all around 2,000 degrees. 2,000 degrees is a good temperature to shoot photographs at, if you don't mind a little bit of yellow color in the faces of the people you're shooting. No, you have not tuned into the world's dumbest weather forecast. It really is 5,500 degrees out here, but not Fahrenheit, not centigrade, degrees Kelvin. The Kelvin scale is what measures the color temperature. And as a photographer, the color temperature is what should be very important to you. Most of the daylight films that you buy are designed to give you good colors if, and this is an important if now, if your light source is of a specific color temperature. Now, daylight film is designed, a better word is balanced, to give you good colors in this 5,500 degree color temperature of daylight like this. Now, most of those films will give you probably the best colors right around noontime, but color temperature, just like air temperature, changes as the day goes on. Early in the morning, right around sunrise, and late in the afternoon, right around sunset, the color temperature will tend to lower just a bit, giving you some reddish colors. A lot of photographers like this warm look it tends to give to their pictures that they get from lower color temperatures. Now, you don't need to know what the color temperature is to get a good photograph. Uh, that's a good thing. I suppose you really can't go down to the hardware store and buy a color temperature thermometer, although you can buy a color temperature meter, which is not unlike a standard photographic exposure meter, but really most photographers don't need such a piece of equipment. What you've got to do, though, is match your color film to the light source that you're using. Now, daylight film would serve us pretty well out here, but if the color temperature varies a little bit from this midday sun like we've got right now, I mean, you know, right around sunset or sunrise if you get up early to shoot some pictures. Well, the color temperature match will still be close enough that I think you'll get pleasing results. Indoors is where some people get confused. They buy a roll of tungsten film. I think they can come indoors and shoot great pictures just using regular indoor lighting, you know, incandescent lights, which is, oh, they're about 2,800 degrees Kelvin. Well, tungsten film is really balanced to be used with special photo floods, which are 3,200 degrees Kelvin or 3,400 degrees. So remember, tungsten light isn't balanced to use with normal indoor lights. What you can do is stop by the store, get the special photo floods, and replace the light bulbs in your lamps with the special photo floods to use during the time when you're shooting pictures so that the color temperature of the room more closely matches the film's balance. One other note, when you're shooting pictures where you're going to use a strobe, say, on top of your camera, even though the strobe produces artificial light, it's been designed to produce a light that's of the same color temperature as outdoor daylight. So, obviously, you'll want to use daylight film. Now, to avoid mistakes that might present your subjects in a color that, well, they might be colors that are unique and creative and imaginative and all that, they're colors that don't exactly represent the scene that you're photographing. To avoid mistakes like that, be sure that you're using the color film that is matched to the right color temperature of the light that you're shooting in. So on the next day that you find that it's a beautiful 5,500 degree day, well, you can go outside and shoot some beautiful pictures with no sweat.